guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take our boy LR Evolution Blue Vegeta, built differently, into the Legendary Goku event, which I am beginning to have sort of second thoughts about, like, taking every single unit into this event, because it's like, we go in here, right, and it's like, oh, like, you know, like, what's the benchmark for surviving these attacks? Like, oh, he has this much defense, that much defense, but it's like, now, at this point, like, the entire team is just absolutely just shitting on this Goku in here. Like, he doesn't really stand much of a chance, so I I don't know. Um, all right, we have a pretty good uh, sort of opener here. Now, remember, the big thing about Evolution Blue Vegeta that I think makes uh, LRUI Goku... One of the biggest parts of Goku being better is the way at which they build key from their passive, right? Because... The thing about summonable LRs is a lot of times they're only as good as their ability to get their 18 key super attack consistently, right? That's why some a unit to me, just for me personally, like LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku has faded a bit. Even LR Goku and Frieza with the link level update, which nerfed, you know, key for a unit like LR Goku and Frieza. I don't know. I, I just don't really find myself as much of a fan of them any, anymore. Like, yeah, they can put up crazy damage, but, you know, they are relying completely on their key from other units, although they do have a great link set even after the nerf, right? Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta, his key mechanic is just when he performs attacks. Now, you look at that, and it's not really that big of a deal because he does have the built-in additional. Uh, so even at 55%, the chances of him doing two super attacks is, what, 30%, which is good. Now, obviously, once you, you know, get multiple dupes in him and you could build up at least a little bit of additional and hidden potential system, you're going to have a much better chance of being able to bust out multiple attacks like that and thus build his key much faster so he can really build up. Now, LRUI Goku, because his is he gets key whenever he dodges, which is, you know, his ridiculously OP 70% dodge chance, I just find that LRUI Goku is just super attacking much easier, not to mention... Um, Vegeta and Goku both have Prepare for Battle and Tournament of Power, and then Goku has Shocking Speed, whereas Vegeta has Royal Lineage. I feel like that's also much more common. Uh, you know, on these teams, you're running Goku with, you know, units that have Shocking Speed over, you know, some of this shit like um, Royal Lineage, which is basically just going to be restricted to other Vegeta units. Now, if they do decide to give this uh, AGL Blue Vegeta an EZA during the 6th year anniversary... I really do think that's going to make me like Vegeta a lot more because you look at how ridiculous they made the Int UI Goku after his EZA, it's, he's absurd, right? He's potentially probably the best EZA unit in the game. I, I have to play around with him a little bit more to determine if I like him better than Physical Vegito Blue, but I, just early assessment, I think I actually do um, like him better than the Janembas, which like is pretty crazy to me because it's like, you know, I go crazy for those Janembas, but... I mean, Int UI Goku is nuts, right? And it's like, I feel like Int UI Goku, like his EZA will work really well, not only with probably the revival mechanics of these characters like, you know, LR Evolution Blue Vegeta and, you know, UI Goku and the LR Master Roshi, but also with like SCR Blue Cow Ken Goku. I, I just, I don't know. I Like, I, I think of a scenario where like you're in Super Battle Road and you fall below 50% HP, then UI Goku transforms, and he has that one turn of 100% dodging, and he's so ridiculously powerful. And then, like, Blue Cow can Goku, like, tosses down a spirit bomb, and it's just like the team is just starting to get, like, super ridiculous at this point. Um, okay, so now that we have Vegeta with El Evolution Blue Vegeta, now we're going to be able to look a lot better. By the way, my Vegeta is full level 10 links, so, you know, now Vegeta is going to look super good. And again, th this is where I really hope this Vegeta gets that EZA, because if we're able to rock with this Vegeta, LR Evolution Blue Vegeta, and then you have this AGL Blue Vegeta with him, you know, activating a lot of these links, you know, I mean, Royal Lineage, Prepare for Battle, and Turn of Power, they have all three, you know, so that's seven key from links, that's so big for LR Evolution Blue Vegeta, man, like, that's really, really helpful to be able to get that, so... I really do hope that they do give him an EZA, because, like, you know, LRUI Goku already had the STR uh, LRUI Goku to completely dominate, right? So, like, with that, it's like, you know, he already had a mega top-tier linking partner. We didn't then need in UI Goku to get an EZA and then be another amazing linking partner for him. Now, I do want to point out that all these UI Gokus also do work as good linking partners for Vegeta as well. 
But, like, I'm thinking about something like Siblings Bond or Vegeta Family. You know, there's other teams Vegeta is on where these UI Gokus are not going to be there to be a great linking partner for Vegeta, right? Whereas, you know, the UI Gokus are on all the same categories, so you could use them together. So that's why this AGO Blue Vegeta, he gets that EZA, and he is really going to help Evolution Blue Vegeta a lot. Because, again, you look at this AGO Blue Vegeta and all the different attacks he gets and stuff like that, and I, I just feel like it's very easy to envision a scenario where this Blue Vegeta is like, you know, 200k defense, you know, all the different attacks, and he's just so, so crazy. Just a scenario where this Vegeta has 200k plus defense, he's doing just all these attacks, right? Because the AGL Evolution Blue Vegeta, remember, I mean, he does this one super attack, he has his two additional normals, but then that puts up a scenario where it's very likely that you're then going to be rocking uh, that fourth attack pretty often, right? Because, it, like, the hit, like especially if the unit's rainbowed, if you've got, like, at least 10 additional or something like that, you're going to see it pop up an awful lot. And look at this Vegeta, by the way. All the damage he does, maybe the attack stats don't look quite as impressive as some other, like, mega top tier units. But the thing you have to remember about the UI Goku and Vegeta is that any additional super attacks are guaranteed crits. You absolutely cannot sleep on the power of guaranteed crits, dude. It's just, it's so crazy. Like, we spend all this time going crazy for units that are super effective against all types. All these GoGD units. Oh, he's super effective. Oh, 5 million. But don't forget that boy is super effective against all types constantly, right? What is it? Like a 1.5 times multiplier on the attack stat. Like, gives you, like, the true damage you're doing. Well, a crit is, you basically double the attack stat when they do, like, a crit. So, the damage that Vegeta and Goku do it's very deceiving. It's very deceptive. You see these attack stats and you think, oh, all these other 600 units could do exactly the same thing. Ha 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 ha. And it's like, well, no, not really. <laughs> not when Goku and Vegeta, like, no units in the game are, like, gonna crit more often than they are, like, across the entire game. Like, it, it's just that ability they have to just get 50% chance to crit on super, like, that is ridiculously powerful. Um, all right, so let, let's just continue. Let's keep going. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this turn out right here. We're watching Evolution Blue Vegeta just absolutely tear this Goku in half. I will start cutting at this point, like, because I did bring the Worthy Rival team, which I feel like has definitely gotten a lot better. I mean, Worthy Rival, we've gotten LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, LR Evolution Blue Vegeta. You know, we've gotten PyCon as well. Like, the Worthy Rival team is, is actually shaping up a little bit. Like, if we get, like, an LR Android 17 in Part 2 or something like that, who's, like, really, really good from the turn of power, like, Worthy Rivals is going to be in a really good position. And this Vegeta, dude, is, like, AG, remember, AGO Blue Vegeta builds up his defense uh, when whenever he attacks. But, like, up to this point, we literally have had no opportunities for him to even attack because LR Evolution Blue Vegeta is just instantly eradicating this Goku every single time. Like, again, the damage that that Vegeta does is not something you can sleep on. Um... I do absolutely adore both the Vegeta and the Goku. I think both of them are tremendously powerful. Now, I haven't even really had a chance to talk about Vegeta's sort of defense. I haven't really been checking it either. But, like, remember, it's I feel like it's around 180k-ish, I think, where, like, Int UI Goku begins to do pretty much double-digit damage. Now, remember that Vegeta has 10% damage reduction at the start of turn, which isn't really that crazy. But then every single attack he receives after that point He's getting 10% extra damage reduction, getting you up to a maximum of 40%. This, in UI Goku, is, a, is a, a boss that cancels your ability to dodge. So this actually is an event where Vegeta is better than UI Goku, right? Because in the most difficult part of this event, the whole gimmick that makes UI Goku pretty much the best unit in the game, it doesn't work. Whereas Vegeta is able to completely still, like, you know, power through with his defense and his damage reduction. Although... Vegeta still has the same weakness he normally does, which is that if, like, the very first attack he takes on the turn is a super attack, he'll get slapped up, right? So that's another thing to consider. Yeah, 176k defense is obviously very, very good, considering he's got, like, this ramping up damage reduction, right? Think about all the times I've told people, like, oh, you know, Super 17, that 40% damage reduction is not too crazy, but when you get to 100k defense, it's really good, right? Well, that's sort of the thing that's going to happen with Vegeta, is that, like, you know, just 40% damage reduction by itself is not really too great. But with, you know, around 200k defense, which Vegeta has, that, it, it, like, it's just going to be absolutely insane. And look at this. Literally every single turn, he's, like, double supering, right? Because he has 
the built-in 30% additional super and his passive. And then, of course, there's also the hidden potential system ability. Too. Like, look at this. Vegeta, can you chill? Like, Vegeta's looked so impressive <laughs> in this run. Oh, my God. Vegeta, chill. All right. So now we're getting up to where the bosses start to get a little bit difficult. We'll go ahead and bust out uh, Vegeta's active skill. Why don't we go ahead and bust this out? Get this final explosion off. Get the extra damage off on UI Goku. Um, again, in case you are not aware, uh, this final explosion active skill is an AoE attack. And every single enemy you hit with this, you can build up one key through Vegeta's passive. Remember, for every attack performs, Vegeta gets one key. At this point, we've already fully built it up. But had we not, you know, you would get key from that. And for every, like, you know, again, like AoE sort of enemy you hit with that, you are going to get key. So that is good. Um, all right, so now we're up over 200k defense. So if Vegeta has his full 40% damage reduction right here, I mean, he's going to take probably 50k or less from STR UI Goku right here, I would imagine. Yeah, okay, so now I think he has his full damage reduction built up. As far as an attack set, we're, you know, sitting at just below 4 million, which honestly is fine considering we're getting no offensive support throughout all these runs. Nothing, damn it. Okay, I really wanted to see... Uh, UI Goku tag Vegeta with a super attack. Um, but, you know, we'll go ahead and skip ahead to Int UI Goku now. And we'll go ahead and see how well um, our boy Vegeta will be able to hold up. Hopefully we can get a pickle on the same rotation so we can see where the super attack is going to be. And then we can watch Vegeta hopefully just completely tank it. Alright, so we're still here against our boy STR UI Goku. But I figured it was worth, uh, like, a shot. Like, let's just go ahead and put this rotation in here as well. And let's go ahead and see if, again, we can catch a super attack on Evolution Blue Vegeta right here. All right, so there we go. We get those first couple of attacks in, and that defense is going to kick in. That damage reduction is going to be very high. I don't think UI Goku would do very much damage at all. Again, maybe 50k damage or less. Also, like, the guaranteed crits will allow you to just blow through uh, this Goku's health bar, like, very, very rapidly, right? No super attack again? Really? All right, fine. Uh, we're getting unlucky here, but it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right, so now we're going up against Int UI Goku. What's funny here is we do actually have the revival skill active. Um, I think if we have Evolution Blue Vegeta at the end here take this, I think we actually are going to get the revival. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I mean, if we don't get it, we don't get it. We're going to see Vegeta completely tank regardless, but I think it would be pretty sick to be able to get this active or this revival mechanic to go ahead and activate right here. So, I mean, let's see. Let's see if we can get it. Um, this is one of those things about these units, Vegeta and Goku, that it's just, it's like they can do it, but you don't really want to sort of like, you know, base your entire, entire assessment of these units on their ability to revive like this. But the fact that they can do it, obviously, is really, really good. Um, you know, it, it's going to be very situational. Like, only the fact that we're on turn 17 and Vegeta has taken 7 attacks and we entered under 50% HP could we even do this. I think this is going to do enough damage because that Evolution Blue Vegeta, you know, again, he's older. His defense not really up to snuff. Yeah, we did. Very good. Well, bam! Here we go. Ow! Oh! So good. All right, so there we go. Perfect. That is a perfect way to end it right there. Uh, oh, by the way, on the... <laughs> On the worthy rival slash Namekian team, you know, with the Piccolo and Nail units healing the way they do, that's a nice little combo there, right? Like, again, we went from zero health to be... We're at, like, 87% health right now or something like that, right? Like, that's a really nice combo. I like that. Again, LR Evolution Blue Vegeta, man, don't sleep on him. I hear a lot of people disrespecting him. I don't disrespect him. I got him at number two, all right? I'm not the one saying, oh, he might be fourth or fifth. Hell no! <laughs> You know, LRUI Goku, I think, is clearly better. But Vegeta uh, is built different as well. <laughs> he is pretty goddamn good. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch y'all next time.